Okay, so now we're on episode three, and here we go. Let's see what happens here. So, hmm. Seems familiar somehow. Again, this is a bit weird. Doors blocked. Turn around. Whoa! The side of the ship has disappeared. And the hottest guy in the game turns up. No powers mode. There we go. Let's try it. This is gonna get hard. No, I never asked for your help, and I don't need it now. Another surprise. So be it. You never thought I'd be here again. So the void is really awkward. It's just pain in the flipping ass. So what do we get if we don't get supernatural powers? Never tried this before. I've been here before. Do we still get we still get the heart? Although it's absolutely no use. I mean, it's not just me that thinks this is a bit creepy, is it? That Corvo gets um, his ex lover's heart, or in the case of Plain as Emily, that she gets her mum's heart. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Who is Delilah, really? Just so. Piece skates kill those. Uh, runes don't need them. Why would I need them? So we played no powers. I don't think I get the enhancements either. So we're back into it now. I don't believe I need any of the runes or bone charms. So but we'll have a look. Maybe I got lazy. Fell asleep at my post. Somehow everything I love is at risk. Again. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just eighteen. 
boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn, and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. For over three decades, I've lived in a palace, watching over the people I love. I had an empress die in my arms, and raised another from birth. Who would have thought I'd come back home, the most wanted man in the Isles, following the trail of a monstrous killer? What would that 18-year-old think of me now? Bit old to be fighting a war at 50, but you know, each their own. Here we go again. Let's pick up the letter for Makoro. Yeah, that was quite sad, that bit, I guess. Unfortunately, there's no real character development. Alright, so. Of course, I get bone charms, but. It appears I do get bone charms. I mean, put them on, but. Neither of those are going to be any use. So, yeah, bone charms do something. Right. I'm not going to go specifically looking for them, because I don't really think I need them. Unless there's one specifically that pops out for sneak. Okay, so let's go meet uh, Megan. Conspiracy tied to the Crown Council. He wanted to warn you. There were reports of our tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. Then the Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hat ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adamire Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The crown killer. Adamire was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the crown killer. Maybe the alchemist will cooperate. Maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. Take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. So just beat her there, of course. <sighs> right then. Oh, she magically appeared. Who would have guessed? Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. Off we go then. One more time, old friend. Let's go. I take you to Adamire by boat, but security is too tight. The Grand Guard has a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Sokono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Rukaibel took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. 
orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodana. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademaya. The Duke's given the Grand Guard a run at the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Ademaya, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademaya. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Right. So let's just uh, get through here. There's no point getting all the bone charms unless. Let's get crossbow out. Crossbow is probably the best stealthy weapon. Let's go through to the black market shop. Dead wor a worker. See what she wants. Something that might interest you. My name's Lindy Blanchard, and that map tells me you're someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Want to help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adamire Institute. Can you help? Yeah, I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry, he's already dead. You want me to bring you a corpse? What's the story there? <laughs> the overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist's office near there. I'll consider it. So, I was hoping that'd be a bit easier than that. But definitely not. So let's go to the black market shop first. Because I need some arrows, uh, particularly sleep. So I want sleep darts. Fill that up. Grenades, done mine. Three of those. Don't need sunken supplies. Don't need that. Get a few of those. Do I need them? Get five of those just in case. That leaves me five forty. So let's go. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Let's go with that. What can I see? I mean, if I'm still here. So how far is that of my fifty seven? I just got somehow. Past. So that's just remember to move slowly and don't get too close to the net. I hate these things. I used to kill lots of these nests when I was young. Just go slow and run. What's that? Quite by enemies. <sighs> so irritating. So that's all. Yeah, I've got a fair need here. I think best way through is going to be past the blood flies, so we'll see what happens here. Blood flies are the most annoying thing in this game, and they make my skin crawl so bad. So it's slowly for them to move out.
I think they're enemies. And as far as I can see, there's no enemies around anywhere. So, keep this as move slowly. Blood finds calm me fine, it's it fine it's out glowing. See <sighs> See if I can get. I hate these things. It's not just me that makes this skin cool, is it? It's They're fucking horrible. Oh my god. Makes me itch all over. Looks a bit awkward. Let me just try it through here. Lovely. Let's try this one then. And blood amber, yay. This is really awkward. I don't like these things at all. Around up here, see if there's another way out without having to go past that thing. Might have a scout window. Should be ideal. Nope. Right, I think I've got around that I need to get around, so let's go through here. Kill that fucking blood fly. Um was blocked. Get out of it. Right. Go away from those blood flies. Ademaya. Overseas. Let's go straight. Oh, can't blink, so what's that leave me with? This is going to be the best way? Looks like it might be. This is guard down on the river. Guard there. Three overseers over there who don't like me. Guard. Guard. Guard? That looks like a maid, there's a guard there. I'll pass the war light at least. That's another overseer there. Don't want to reset any body spies. Do you can get him? So that doesn't count as being. That's fine. So it's him there and him there. He might spot me, which isn't good. So it's a rather nice station. Ah, oh, blood flies. Right, that's okay.
Way loyal. Always useful. What I'm worried about is getting into this station. Could well be worth getting up high. See that? Save. Save. One there. More Grand Guard soldiers. Best to avoid. Aha. So let's just save again. And let's continue. So obviously guard, guard, another guard. Someone like green. It was green. I'm going to hit him with a sleep. Don't. So he spotted me, I'm sure. Spot by my enemies, none. No non lethals either. Spotted. <sighs> That's awkward. So there's also that one there. That point there. Can I get. I'm gonna risk it. Quite early on. No. One up there, one down there, one over there. So let's get the one up. I wanted to get up there. It's one of the roof, what? Okay, so that's two, no spotted. There's no around, is there? Oh, that makes me unhappy. Is it gonna be all worth it? Two grenades, some bullets. Not really long. after nothing worth is that 
Uh, add a mass solution. No, I don't need it. Just go out. Let's go move the bodies first. Don't want that body found. So don't want that body found. So don't want it found. Bang! Got him. Did he spot me now? Oh, for God's sake. Grow up. Which makes it awkward. Possibly just get by or kill it, shoot that one. The other guys don't look like the two. <sighs> Keen eyed, if that's the word. Might be able to get by and get on top up there. Let's see what happens then. Good start. Get the solution. Take that. Get around to the stairs here, and then we'll give it another save and see what happens. Right. Slightly different method. That saved me one bolt as well. So I've got that one there, I've got the second guard over there, which would possibly be worth getting when it sits down, because that one doesn't look like it's moving too much. I might be able to sneak up on him a bit before, it's worth a try. Because one in there is asleep, so... Yes. Again, you hit shoot with a dart and he just fucking does that. It's so irritating. This is going to be a big video. I might have to do some cutting and say 26 attempts later. But yeah, oh well. I knew this bit would be quite difficult. I knew this would be difficult. But that guard's going to cause me a lot of problems. As soon as this guy sat down though, I'll just fuck him up. That guy I might just try to sneak past this time. He might not notice that his mate's unconscious. See, you might not notice that he's unconscious. That's what we've got now. All behind me, that's fine. So why has he got because the wall's up. Would have been ideal if I had a rewire tool, but I don't. So let's give another save because I don't have a rewire tool. So it's going to be a bit awkward now. If he goes into that room, I might give him a little bit of a nudge. Or go now. Wonder who that was. 
And he had to turn around, of course, because that's a sensible thing. Could I hit with a dart, maybe? No, he'd be seen, wouldn't he? Let's go then. <sighs> okay, so I'm actually going to stop here now. I'm just going to have a break come back to this in a short while thanks for watching and see you again in episode 4